Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a haul video. This is going to be a uh, mixture of stuff that I've picked up the last few days. Uh, estate sales I hit on Wednesday and Thursday. And then uh, Friday, yesterday, I hit a couple of uh, community garage sales. And then today I hit my favorite church rummage sale. And then some garage sales afterwards that I actually didn't get anything from. So um, anyway, so it's a lot of stuff. Um, First, let's just jump right into it. First, I want to show you so I can go put it somewhere where I'm not going to cut myself or my cats aren't going to cut themselves are two Cutco knives. Cutco, uh, probably heard of, but if you haven't, it's a uh, very high-end, sought-after brand, Cutco. They uh, almost always have a uh, serial number on them, so they're easy to identify, easy to check comps on. Um, these two I paid $5 for at a garage sale yesterday. And... Uh, I'll probably sell them separately um, and then end up getting somewhere around uh, um, about 60, 60 to 70 dollars, somewhere between 50 and 70 dollars uh, total between the two before fees and everything. <clears throat> um, now let me put them somewhere where me and my cats aren't going to cut ourselves. They're, they're nice and sharp because a friend of mine uh, sharpened them for me yesterday. So, all right, let's see. Sony Walkman. I love the portable CD Walkmans. I sell them all the time. Uh, most I sell through at Amazon. And uh, I think I've sold this red one before. Um, it's the Sony D-EJ 360. And I think when I checked comps uh, yesterday, it's worth about uh, 50 bucks. So, And I paid a quarter for it. At the same sale, I uh, got my first... Texas Instrument graphing calculator of the season. Um, I always look for these. Uh, I got this one for one dollar. It's the TI-89 Titanium. It's already tested and works. Uh, you know, it's got surface wear on it and stuff, but that never matters. I usually accumulate all the calculators <coughs> and list them, um, you know, like a month or so before the next school season starts. So I'll probably start uh, send. I'll send them in or wherever I'm going to list them. Some of them are now restricted on Amazon, some aren't. So wherever I can sell it, um, I usually start listing them, what about July? And uh, there's always a pop in price on them, so that's why I kind of hold on to them. It's kind of like a little savings account. I've got a bunch uh, in, in my uh, storage closet here, and then this one is about 75 bucks now, probably go up to about 100 um, as we approach the school year. So that was nice for a dollar. That was a good sale that I uh, I hit there. <clears throat> Let's see, a different sale. I got a Pottery Barn Star Wars duvet cover. So at first I thought they were sheets, then they pointed out that it was a duvet cover. Didn't realize until I got home it was Pottery Barn, which is even better. And these sell very easily. It's twin size. <clears throat> I paid, uh, he wanted five, I talked him down to three, and... I will get thirty dollars easy for it. That's the, every one that's been listed on eBay has sold at around at around thirty bucks. So, and uh, it's in real good condition, no tears or anything, no stains. So that was nice. Let's see here, DVD. I picked this up because it was new. Um, I paid three dollars for it, and fortunately, I'm restricted on Amazon for this one, as I mentioned in past um, videos. I'm. I can do DVDs on Amazon if the, I think how they figure it is, if the original MSRP is under $25, I could do those. If it's more, I'm restricted. And this one apparently is more because I'm restricted on this one. It's too bad because it's about 50 bucks on Amazon. But it also about 25 on eBay. So um, I paid $3 and uh, I should get about 25 on eBay. Uh, this was a mistake. Um, and I kind of, I had a hunch too. I, I told myself, no, I know this isn't going to be worth anything and either I've seen it before and scanned it and it was at a garage sale so I wasn't going to scan it um, it's new in package though and I have a hard time turning down or walking away from new in package items it's an evening of wine tasting host an evening's introduction to wine tasting with some select guests um, I paid four dollars for it and I'll probably get ten so uh, I may just save it and uh, find a friend that's into uh, wine tasting nights and give it to them or something. So, 
see. This, uh, another new in package, the Bombay Company. It's a, um, a wine or champagne set. You put the, uh, uh, the bottle on this little tray to, keep the, to catch the condensation, and then it's got the, the, the stopper. And the stopper is a, a, a pineapple. Um, so it's like a gift set type thing. And I paid a dollar for it, and let's see. I scanned it yesterday, and I forget now what it is. So let's do a little on-the-fly scanning on the Amazon app. And it's $16.28. Um, I only paid a dollar. Uh, I ship it in after fees and everything. It's 9 bucks, So $8 profit. Just slap a label on it and send it in to FBA. Let's see. Uh, yesterday, um, there was a fundraising for some sort of dance group or something. And uh picked up two items there, a pair of jeans that I won't even bother showing. They're just some BKE buckle jeans that I got for $3. And then I got this Canon camcorder. I love the camcorders. They do sell. Um, this one is a combination um, the the memory stick and then also um, the little VHS or the they're smaller than VHS but uh, you know tapes so <clears throat> they wanted 10 for it came with a case and the adapter uh, it's got the battery I haven't tested it yet I, I I don't know that I've ever had one that didn't work maybe one in the past and I pick up a lot of these on like the Goodwill auction site um, so I paid $10 for it. It's nice and clean. She did say it worked. Um, not that I ever trust that. I always fully test this stuff uh, on my own. And uh, got home, scanned it, and it's $150 to $200 on Amazon. So that was nice. So once I test that and make sure it's all okay, I'll send it in uh, to Amazon, and that will be a nice profit. Uh, this I got with that other Sony and the... Uh, CD player and the calculator, but it's not worth anything. It was another portable CD player. It, it looked kind of cool. At first when I saw it, I thought it was a Bose because I've sold, I've picked up and sold a Bose that looked kind of like this one, but it's a Virgin Pulse, and when I looked it up on eBay, it must have something to do with Virgin Airlines, so I don't know if you get it out of their sales catalog or, or, or what, but none had sold even at 20 bucks. So I'm, that'll probably go into a donate pile. Uh, I'll do a little bit more research, but but it was only a quarter, so nothing lost. Uh, this I paid five dollars for, new and package game, Brain Quest, and again I scanned it yesterday, and I forget now what it was. So let's uh, do a quick scan here. I can find the uh, UPC. Oh, there it is. So I paid five dollars, and it's uh, going on Amazon for twenty, with a eight thousand sales rank. So that's like an instant sale. Um, yeah, or twenty five actually for FBA twenty five bucks, and after fees uh, I'll get um, a little over fifteen dollars. Paid five, so ten dollar clear profit there. Or again, it may go into my closet and wait for Q4 when all toys get a pop. And that being such a quick seller. I, I might send it in now and just get the profit. I don't know. See how I feel when I get to it. All right. Another new package puzzle. I have picked this uh, exact same puzzle up before. Um, paid a dollar for it. And sells on Amazon for $16.50. So it's got a pretty high rank. Um, but the puzzles sell. Yeah, I've sent him puzzles with high ranks, and they still end up selling. Uh, but again, I might wait for a fourth quarter when puzzles get a little boost um, so it doesn't sit in the warehouse because I don't want to pay the long-term storage fees, especially only for a $17 puzzle. All right, at one of the estate sales I was at, um, I knew to look for because I'd seen it in their pictures, was uh, some needlepoint kits. I always look for needlepoint kits. Um, and I got a few at this one. Some can be home runs. Others, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars. Uh, this was one. I think this is about a 15 dollar one, give or take. Um, 
This one, and I paid two for that. I paid two for this one. I forget what the value is on it, but all of these were profitable when I checked them yesterday. But there were two in particular that were home runs. The first one is this one. It's a nautical theme with the teddy bear. Um, I don't know an exact value on it. I know it's going to bring at least 50 bucks, and it might bring somewhere upwards of 100. Um, I'll just, I'll have to kind of see. I'll probably start high and, and work down. This one though is a definite 100 plus dollar one. Sells the few times that they're listed. They they sell 400. Um, there's currently one listed. Someone's trying to get up, I think about 140 dollars for it uh, shipped. I'm going to put mine on Etsy. Um, the fees are lower there. And, uh, and with it being crafty, um, I could put it on Etsy. Uh, but the Christmas stocking ones can do really, really well. And this is one of them. I know uh, another uh, streamer that is where I learned about these, um, the cross stitch and the needlepoint kits. She has found some, and I think there was one she sold for well over $200. So you can get some grand slams with these things. Most of them, no. Um, but if you see the stocking ones, for Christmas and if they're still new and sealed even if they're not new and sealed she still picks them up I try to stick with the ones that are new and sealed um, uh, you, can, you can do really well with them and you know they're easy to ship they're not going to break into an envelope I usually just wrap it with a thing of bubble wrap um, just to give it a little extra protection and shipping and uh, good to go so keep an eye out for the cross stitch and the needle point kits uh, a garage sale near my house. I went to, uh, I think it was Thursday, yeah, Thursday morning. Um, and I got a bunch of video games. Most of them ended up not being very big. I've already got them, a bunch of Xbox games. I've already listed them. Um, no, nothing big there, but I also picked up a couple of old Oakland Raider hats because the Raiders are moving to Las Vegas. So the Oakland stuff, um, you know, is, is better now. This one is, it's got all their Super Bowls from 1977, 1984, and 1981. Um, needs a little dusting off. Uh, looks like, yeah, it was probably used, lightly used, but just needs some dusting. So see if I can get a, you know, 10, 15 bucks for that. This one, I don't know, it, it says Oakland Raiders on it, which is why I grabbed it, but it has been worn a lot, um, and it's, I don't know that it has enough value for me to spend the time trying to wash it, so um, I may not do anything with this one um, because, I mean, it's pretty grungy. It's got the USA flag on it, though. So. Uh, couple of, these are the type of, of tapes that go in like that camcorder that I got. So, you know, they're not the full-size VHS. They have to go into an adapter for you to put them in the, the video recorder. Um, but these... Uh, you know, always have a little bit of value, some more than others. Um, I think these were seven or eight bucks a piece on Amazon. I'll probably lot them up and put them on eBay. Um, and where did I get these? I don't even remember now. I would have got them super cheap, probably like 50 cents a piece. And uh, let's see. A SciTech Bridge Shadow. It's a bridge electronic, either a game or to help when you're playing bridge I have no idea I'm not a bridge player paid three bucks for it I looked it up on uh, Amazon and I don't remember I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that but um, you know, I like finding the electronic and if they're cheap enough I think I even lotted this up with some other stuff so it probably was less than three dollars um, I haven't tested it yet um, to see if it works but the battering compartment is clean so I'm sure it works but, uh, these I picked up my for myself. I got three packets of these not open tea. I'm a tea drinker. I like my um, strong, my tea strong, so I don't like you know the Lipton, which is basically like dirty water. Um, and I got three packages of these, these that have three packages in them for a dollar total. I couldn't say no to that, so uh, those were mine. got a Game Boy Advance purple. It's got a game in it. Unfortunately, the game was nothing special, so the game will go with this. The game was uh, Speed for Need Underground. I 
paid 75 cents for this. It's got the booklets. Basically, no, it doesn't have uh, a charger, but I've already tested it. It works with the batteries, battery compartments clean. It's got the little, little booklets and instructions. So I paid 75 cents for that. So uh, I forget the exact price of these. It's probably like 25, 30 on Amazon. More of the cross stitch from that estate sale. These ones are smaller, um, not as valuable, but um, I still grab them. The prices were cheap enough. Got a cute little pair of St. Andrew's Golf Course socks. I will probably keep these myself. I'm Scottish, and this is St. Andrew's. Um, cute little bear with a golf club on it. So just grab those because they were cute. And then also at that estate sale, a uh, tartan tie. Uh, I think it was uh, a buck or two on the ties. I don't even remember now. It's, the, um, it's wool. There's the label. It's the Wallace tartan. Or at least it says Wallace on it. I'm assuming that's the Wallace tartan. I will confirm. Because uh, it's always good if you get a tartan tie to know the tartan name. So you can put that in your listing. And that's going to be the people that are looking for that specific tartan, they'll be able to find your listing. Um, so you really don't ever want to put a tartan tie up without the name of which tartan it is. Um, and, unless it's just a generic, if it's not an actual tartan, if it's just plaid. You know, but this one, it does say Wallace on it. It probably is the Wallace tartan. I'll confirm that. It's 100% wool. So uh, hopefully I can get like 10 bucks for that. Maybe even 15 since I know the, the tartan. I have picked up the last week or two two of these vintage Microsoft ergonomic clicky keyboards. There are people out there that like the clicky keyboards. There's people out there that like the ergonomic keyboards. So there's going to be people out there that like the clicky ergonomic keyboards. So I've gotten two of these slightly different models, but they go uh, go for around forty to eighty dollars a piece. And this one I paid, apparently I paid $3 on this one. And the other one that I'm not even sure where it is, probably around here, but um, I paid a dollar for it, if even that. So, another new puzzle. Uh, this I paid $4 for at, an, at the estate sale. Um, I didn't even, in fact, yeah, I, did, I, don't, I didn't even scan it because there was no sell service at that estate sale. So, I thought it was pretty cool being the old style fiber planes. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it for four dollars and let me go ahead and scan. Yeah, it's, there's no listing on Amazon, so I'll have to go on eBay, which I hate shipping puzzles, but um but I did find one I found one on Amazon. I don't know. I I think probably get twenty twenty five so especially once we get close to Christmas. Now, yesterday, I, um, hitting garage sales, I hit this one sale. I walk up to it, and there's a sign that says, everything is free. Okay, so I start walking around, and um, there were a couple other people there also, and I ended up walking away with this vintage 18-channel scanning radio. It's brand new. It's never used. I kind of opened it up yesterday. It's in its original bag inside with the, uh, the mounting hardware, the instructions, all the original packaging. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's any high-end expensive one. The only ones I could find were used. So um, it was free. So even if I can get 15 bucks for it, but, you know, I'll do a little bit more research on it. And um, with it being brand new, I should be able to sell it. Um, get something but you know it was free so it wasn't like I was going to lose anything and then not going to bring it over but for at the free garage sale I got a old Atari 2600 with the uh, two of the driving paddles one joystick several games and the power cords and adapters and stuff so that was free I haven't tested it yet it's somewhat dusty um, but I'll test it and uh, for free, you know, I wasn't going to leave that behind. And then also at the free garage sale, I got this uh, desk mountable uh, pencil sharpener. Um, I'm just noticing now, I didn't even test, I said it was free, but the handle isn't turning. Oh, there it goes. 
really tight. So it's got issues. Ended up not being a very valuable one, but some of these desk mount cal uh, uh, pencil sharpeners can do really well. I've sold two or three of them before for about 30 bucks each. They were for the drafters. Um, use them for their drafting pencils, so they were specific brand or type that they wanted. This isn't one of those. Um, so anyway, it was free. I grabbed it, and uh, keep an eye out for the drafting mountable um, pencil sharpeners. Let's see. All right, starting to get to. I feel like I'm missing some stuff from earlier in the week, but I, I also got some stuff listed already. So oh, I did get three oops, Pendleton shirts. Uh, two of them are the Made in USA vintage style, and one is a newer. Um, got them at the estate sale for $2 a piece, and I never say no to Pendleton wool tartan or wool uh, plaid shirts for uh, 2 bucks. So I got three of those. And uh, those, uh, they don't do as well as they used to. Um, I mean, you used to be able to get, uh, shoot, 40 50 $60 for them. Um, now, I mean, this is a bad time of the year to be trying to, to get a good price for them. So I might put them in the back of the closet and wait till we get back to winter um, and see if I can get, you know, $25, $30 for each one. But, all right, now we're into the stuff I got at the church sale today. This church sale, when I hit it last year, I got so much stuff for so cheap. And when I saw it pop up on the yard sale um, app last night, uh, I knew where I was starting out my day. And uh, did it again. Um, did it really well. Um, let's see. A lot of the stuff I just, it, I mean, it was so cheap, I... Uh, wasn't even scanning it. I was just putting it in the bag. A lot of new stuff. Um, this I paid a dollar for. I, I'm not even a Alfie voice controlled intelligent shopper. I just grabbed it for a dollar and I just now scanned it because I didn't scan it before. It's eight bucks on Amazon. Uh, so nothing great there. Let's see. This I picked up. The, um, the programmable thermostats can do really well. This one is used. At least it's been taking out, taken out of the package. Um, I didn't even scan it. It was a, a dollar. And, uh, wow. I'll research this one further. There's only one, and they're asking $184. I don't believe that. With a ridiculously high rank. Let me see if there's another listing. Oh, the prices are way high up there. So I'm going to have to uh, research this one more. I'll check eBay later. But I know the, the programmable thermostats can do really, really well. And for a dollar, I wasn't going to leave it behind. So uh, I will do more research on it. If I find out anything else good about it, I'll, I'll, I'll update you. So Let's see. Another uh, CD player. This one is a Sony... Uh, D-EJ011. I haven't even checked it yet, but the Sony ones are always worth at least 25 and sometimes upwards of 50 to 75 depending on condition. It's got a set of earbuds with it, Sony earbuds, so I will uh, I'll sell it with the Sony earbuds. And uh, that was, I think that was 50 cents. This, I think I'm going to keep because I love the... Uh, Rudolph um, TV show. Um, this is Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer Traditions. I think I've had one of their pieces before, and they actually can be uh, pretty valuable. This didn't have the box like I did for the other piece that I had, um, but I like it. I'm probably going to keep it for myself. I'll check the value. You know, basically, deciding whether to keep something for myself. If I'm, eh, I don't have to have it. I'll check the value. If it's worth like 50 bucks, I'm going to sell it. I'd rather have the 50 bucks. If it's just like a $15, $20 piece, I'll keep that for myself. So basically, if I would pay that much for it, I I um, will keep it. But if I wouldn't, if it's so expensive or worth as much that I wouldn't pay for it, then I'm usually going to end up selling it. All right. Picked up at a garage sale after the church sale some ties. 
I always look for the ties. They're usually cheap. Well, not my thrift stores are not, but at garage sales are usually cheap. They take up no space to store, and they're super easy to list and easy to ship. So I saw these ties, and they had a bunch of Brooks Brothers, which is a pretty decent brand. Um, I didn't take all of them. Um, they wanted two bucks a piece for the ties, which is a little bit more than I want to pay at a garage sale. But they had some nice ones. This one is a real nice paisley. So I looked for the unique designed ones and found six and asked if they'd take ten for the six, and they did. So this is Brooks Brothers with real nice paisley design on it. This is Brooks Brothers with another, I don't know if you call that paisley, but pretty unique design. I may lot them all up together. I don't know. I'll kind of check. Here's a, another Paisley Brooks Brothers. And here's a Brooks Brothers with kind of a, from a distance, I kind of thought it looked like an Egyptian, but maybe it's more equestrian, which actually would be good. We've got the horses on it. And then two that aren't Brooks Brothers. I got this one. It's a Ben Silver, which I don't think is any sort of good brand or anything. But I got it because it's got the dogs on it, either a lab or a retriever. So I can put that in for keywords, lab, Labrador, retriever, maybe even hunting. Um, although, I mean, it doesn't, not necessarily a hunting one. But, you know, keywords are the big thing especially with ties because there's so many listed on ebay you need the keywords to get people to find your listing <clears throat> so uh, the more keywords you can put in the better don't keyword spam because you can get in trouble so don't put in something that's not applicable to your top to your item uh, but as long as it's applicable to your item you get as many keywords in as you can so and then this one is a nautica um, I got because it's got the, the sailboats on it. And I know Nautica does better if there's sailboats. So I grabbed that tie as well. Because specifically I was looking for a sixth tie so I could try and get them, the price down a little bit but by getting six for $10. So, And they took it. So that's the ties I got today. Now let me go grab another bag. And all this stuff is from the church sale today. Um, I ended up making two trips. I, I loaded myself up, went and paid, put it in the car, went back, loaded myself up again. I got, uh, and this this church sale always has a lot of new in package or new in box stuff, which I liked. I got this Lake Percet is a really good brand for you know pots and whatnot. Um, this was a dollar. It's a little barbecue pot, so you put the barbecue sauce in it. And then it's got the, um, the the brush to brush the barbecue sauce on. And give me a second because my computer is about to run out of power. I forgot to plug it in. So let me go grab the plug. I will be right back. Okay. I don't want to be in the middle of this and have the power shut off. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So anyway, this liquor set thing, it's new. It's, um, you know, I, I took a peek inside, and it's not ever been taken out of the box. Paid a dollar for it, and I've already uh, scanned it and checked, and it's uh, about 40 bucks. So that is nice. Um, this, I got two of these things. They were a buck each. I haven't checked them yet. I don't know if they're worth anything. They're Bell South Color ID boxes, both new in the box. They, they did a picture so people could see what they were. Um, but only a dollar. I just went ahead and grabbed it. Or both of them, because there's two of them. I have no idea if they're worth anything. I haven't researched them yet. Um, and it probably take a little bit to try and find the exact one, because I need to get a model number or whatever. So... Anyway, basically the story there is if it's cheap enough, if it's new, if it's electronic, take a chance on it. Worst comes to worst, you toss it or donate it. Um, this, not a home run or anything. I did actually uh, scan it um, when I was there. It's a Presto salad shooter. I think some of these salad type things can do well. Um, 
I paid, what was the color? This church sale is kind of nice because how they do their pricing is they put a color tag on it and then that color tag is the same price. So they had a 50 cent color, the dollar color, and the five dollar color. And let's see, this was blue, so this uh, must have been a dollar. And uh, I scanned it real quick when I got, um, knew they're going for 30 and it hasn't been used. All the pieces are still in their, their packaging, but it has been opened. So I can't sell it as new, but I could probably sell it as, you know, very good. I don't even think I would do like new because uh, with Amazon with like new, that usually has to be where the package hasn't been opened, but there's wear on the package. Doesn't make sense to me, but anyway. The uh, used ones, it's showing at about seven bucks, so, you know, maybe I can get 15 for it. I'll check eBay as well, see what they're going for on eBay. Uh, got paid a dollar for this. Basically grabbed it because it's new and it's just a uh, Stafford two piece sleep set, especially at Christmas time, stuff like that will move. Um, and, you know, like I said, I paid a dollar for it. Uh, it was originally $40 at the store. So, you know, if I can get 15 bucks for it, that works for me. Um, and then a couple pieces of clothing. I got a Ralph Lauren. It's a size 17, 34, 35, so that's pretty big. Um, and I think the, the, the shirts were 50 cents. I got a sweater, a made in Italy sweater. I don't know even know the brand, but the sweaters were only a dollar. It was made in Italy, so I picked that up for a dollar. And now let me go grab the last bucket of stuff. I'm running out of room here. Okay. This I haven't even researched. I have never even heard of this. I'm a gamer. As you can see from my shirt, I'm wearing one of my gamer shirts. Um, this is a DIDJ custom gaming system. Kind of looks, you know, like the, uh, the, PS, the PSPs. Um, it's got some games in it. It was... This would have come from the $5 table. I just grabbed it. Nothing else. I'll gain some education from it to know whether to keep an eye out for it in the future or to leave them behind in the future. Um, so, like I said, I haven't researched it yet, and I'll give an update after I do as to whether it was a good buy or not. This is a uh, new spy gear. I, I sell a lot of the spy gear during the fourth quarter. Um, and I paid, this would have been a dollar. Well, it's a green tag. What did I pay for it? What was the green tags? I don't remember. I, it must have been a dollar. Um, I didn't even scan it, but it'll be good at Christmas time, if not before. Let's go ahead and do a quick scan. Uh, showing it new, $40. There's a little bit of wear on the package, so I probably wouldn't want to send it into Amazon new. So it'll probably be something I'd put on on eBay as new. Um, it's got a really high rank, so I'll wait till Christmas time, put it up on eBay, you know, if I can get 20 bucks for it. I got this for my cats, because uh, I've already got two of these, but they destroy them. They love it. Uh, cats Meow, it's got this little thing that spins around, set it for different speeds, and, you know, cats being cats will try to catch the little thing moving um never been opened so these are expensive they're like 30 bucks at like pet, pet smart pet co and i got it for a dollar so that's for my guys uh a weather alert clock radio weather radios can do really well i've done well with them in the past this was a dollar it's um had it been open? No, it looks brand new in here. It's got the instructions, perfectly clean. Um, so let's do a quick scan of it. Like I said, most of the stuff, because it was only a dollar, I wasn't even scanning it. I was just putting it in my bag and moving on to find more stuff. I was the first person um, in this church sale. Uh, they, they, in the ad, they put the address, not the address wrong, but they said it was on a certain corner and it was actually a couple blocks away so that may have 
had some people not able to find it. I know exactly where it was because I've been there last year. So I was the first person walking through. So I was pretty much going through the tables the first time through real quickly and just putting stuff into my bag. But I just scanned this, um, 40 bucks new, uh, 20 bucks used. So even because, you know, the box is open, you know, if I can get somewhere between 20 and uh, $40 for it, paid a dollar. Let's see. AT&T uh, two-line speakerphone. I did scan this while I was there, paid a dollar. Um, they're going new, and I haven't really checked it carefully to see if it's new or not, or used or not. Actually, it doesn't look like it's been used. It's perfectly clean. Well, no, I take that back. It has been used. It's got very, it looks like very gently used. New, it's $134 on Amazon, used 29 and up. So, you know, because it appears to be very lightly used, you know, maybe I can get 40 out of it. And I paid a dollar. Another new and packaged toy type thing. Uh, this was uh, 50 cents. Um, and the app decides to be slow. There we go. 10 bucks new. And it's new. Paid 50 cents. Be a good Christmas time item. And a Chef's Choice knife sharpener. These do really well. This one has been used. I did open it. It's in the original box, though. With the original packaging inside, I see the instructions down on the bottom. I see the wear, though, so I know it has been used. Um, these are good knife sharpeners. In fact, my friend that sharpened those uh, Cutco knives that I got yesterday, um, that's what they have. Um, so that he did it on his. I paid a dollar for this. And new, they go for 75 on Amazon, used 35. So even if I just get 35 for a dollar, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, I've done really, really well this week. I've got a lot of stuff to get through. Luckily, a lot of it will be Amazon, so that's nice and quick. Um, I've got a ton of clothes I have not been able to get to because I've been getting so much stuff at the estate sales and garage sales. Um, so I have a friend that friend's daughter that's going to come work for me. Um, a day here, a day there, and the first day is going to be Tuesday. So I'm going to have her be my uh, third and fourth pair of hands while I'm uh, measuring clothes and photographing clothes um, so that I can blow through. I've got about 100 pieces of clothing sitting here, if not more, uh, to get prepped and photographed so that I can get them listed. So that's what we're going to work on Tuesday. So hopefully I'll be getting a lot of clothing listed um, next week. And uh, But meanwhile, the rest of today, tomorrow, and Monday, I'm going to be working on all this, uh, the hard items that I've gotten, and get them either off to Amazon or up on eBay, and uh, start getting my money back. But today, um, I've spent a total of $35 at the church sale. So all that stuff I picked up at the church sale, I'll spend a total of $35. Um, the ties I spent 10 on, the estate sales that I went to Wednesday and Thursday, I don't think I spent more than $40 at each one, um, and those cross-stitch kits are going to, you know, definitely get that back for me, so did really well. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope you're finding some good, uh, put in the comments if you found anything, anything real good at the, uh, at your garage sales. I'd love to hear what you're picking up, so. I will be back uh, during the week probably with uh, sales results and maybe do an update on some of the uh, research I do on all this. And um, I won't be doing any more picking this weekend. I am uh, done. i got to get through all this because I'm just about out of room. Um, so i got to get it all listed. I also uh, got some stuff at the Goodwill auction site this week, so I've got to deal with that stuff. So anyway, it's going to be a busy week. I hope you guys are doing well. I will uh, see you next time.